Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Uh, guys, listen, we have uh, pretty much non-tent today, right? Was this just the SBC uh, for an MLS right back? Gonna be honest with you, haven't seen an MLS team once in Division Rivals. Uh, so not sure how many people are gonna be doing that. Um, but yeah, guys, we're gonna be talking about the promo for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow should be a really busy day. We're probably gonna have like... I wish they did the bo like both of the Player of the Months today. They do it on the Friday, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, we're probably going to have both of the player of the months. We're probably going to have the second team for the regular players. And then we're also going to have the legend players as well, right? So I'm uh, going to be seeing if I could do a review for a couple of those cards. Um, at some point, I have to kind of like do like four a day. Because when I do four a day, I can kind of do more. You know what I'm saying? For the other days. Because I used to do like eight in one day. And I'd be like, ah, no. I, like I would get burned out for the next days, right? But we basically have the full teams leaked. There's a couple of players in this team that I feel like can be better than the second team to be or can be better than the first team to be honest with you like there's actually a lot of players in this um that can work out well in the meta of the gameplay i think uh it's mostly the hero cards though but yeah okay so uh the team looks like this right so i saved a nice little bookmark from donk and foot share so we'll kind of be balancing between the two um they already have some of the official stats for some of these cards uh but we're going to be talking about what they could potentially be looking like and what their base card stats and what their base characteristics are like for the improvement that they can be getting in the future right so uh we'll get started with the fantasy foot team two players um we're gonna see here the types of leaks that we have or we'll just start off with foot sheriff and the ones that he has uh for the for the types of cards i think these are stats expect yeah stats expected um so there is let me see stats expected okay yeah so there there's no actual um stats thing for these cards right okay so the first one is going to be for a pumacano's card so a pumacano was actually an sbc that was released which was an okay card but during that time period required the upgrade right so during the world cup time period i'm not really a, a huge fan of the showdown cards in general i don't really like this promo to be to be honest with you um you know a card like this you did for 220k bundesliga player french but you know once he didn't get the upgrade he was an okay card to use now obviously with the improvement i do feel like base card stats for pace is going to be in a better area um and obviously the physical will be improved the dribbling will be improved um it's still going to be a well formatted card for the most part you're probably going to have to work with the acceleration a little bit on the card because acceleration is significantly lower than the sprint speed uh but he does have a lengthy accelerate and you know his body type and all those kind of things it defends okay in game but he's also like a high medium work rate card so it's a little bit different um to what you would actually normally want to use right so um high medium you know if it's a card like Sergio Ramos it works because the way that the card is formatted with higher acceleration lower sprint or uh, lower sprint speed on a lengthy um is pretty insane to work with it's, he's one of the better center backs I've used this year right um so Pumacano has potential uh obviously he's gonna be based off of Bayern Munich so the Bayern Munich links um in regards to the results they could get so he has a chance of upgrading on a consistent basis as a Bundesliga center back so not too bad there uh, finally, we have a Ruben Diaz card. Ruben Diaz, it will be a very big card. Um, reason being for this is because during the beginning of the year, uh, people were using this card in their team, and obviously they didn't know about the lengthy accelerate during the time period. And when you gave him a shadow chemistry style, he was a type of player that has the right body type and he has the right defensive animations to be an absolute monster, right? And during the lengthy meta, his pace you didn't care about at all right so we'll see how they format it for the new card because obviously he's probably gonna be formatted similar to like the apumacano card where it's like lower acceleration higher sprint speed but i feel like with ruben diaz you won't really care as much about it one because man city can definitely get some of those upgrades for the car which is definitely going to be a huge plus but two you know he's a very very solid defensive player right like you could see that his defensive stats is already very very high um on a shadow chemistry style so it could be a situation in the future where they'll allow you to give him like a catalyst instead of the shadow depending on how they actually end up improving the defense but yeah ruben diaz getting a card is absolutely massive he's yet to get a card this year um the next one we have is Diogo Jota. Diogo Jota is one of those cards where I told people in the beginning of the year, I, I love this card. I, I think he's absolutely fantastic. Um, obviously, with him being a Portuguese player, it's so interesting because obviously Portuguese FC, right? But there's certain Portuguese cards that I just really like. Some are like Hernani and stuff. Like you just, They're just really generic, right? Super, super generic. 
This Jota card, I don't know what it is, but he just works. You know, it's very strange because his dribbling is not the greatest. He had the average body type during that time period. You know, even with the lengthy meta, I still preferred the explosive players, right? Because of the general movement that they had across the pitch. Cards like this, I don't know what it is, man. You use them in a 4-2-3-1 in the side positions. Uh, my, if I'm playing this new 3-4-2-1 and I'm using him as a right winger or left winger, it's still a card that position, positions himself really well. Yes, you do have to work with the dribbling a little bit, but it's worth it because of that five-star weak foot, four-star skill move and really good shooting for the most part. Like this card is... Um, an absolute monster. I thoroughly enjoyed using him for a very long period of time. I was actually using him in my recent foot champs run, and he was still scoring a bunch of goals for me, right? He's um uh, he's one of those types of dudes. Uh Talia Fico will be for the people who are going to be building um some sort of like League One teams, right? So obviously with him being Leon, uh Leon could present uh, some good links for you as well as some Argentinian links, right? So if people have like Messi in their team and they don't have like a Nuno Menz or anything like that. Um, this card could be a very viable option because he's well formatted, right? The pace is very similar to each other. You could potentially give him um, an anchor chemistry style in the future or a shadow, depending on how they end up improving the card. It's most likely going to be a shadow, but it's just one of those types of cards that is really cool to work with because he's a medium high work rated player. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to switch between a four back formation as well as a three back. I could play a card like this in the left center back position. And it wouldn't be a huge issue, but it would be a little bit of an issue because he's still a pretty small player at five foot eight, right? So, um, yeah, definitely an interesting one for sure with Talia Fico. Uh, we got Benacer. So Benacer is one of those cards that was pretty solid to get. Very cheap price uh, for what he offered in game. Obviously, with him being left footed, that adds a variable to the card to use him in the left sided area, right? So with this new card coming out and him potentially having the same skill moves in weak foot, it's still probably going to be a very good card to get because him being an explosive player on a shadow, it works for him because of the high acceleration with defensive stats as it is, right? So obviously with the improvement in the future, you can see that they're probably going to improve base card stats for pace. So you could probably give him like an anchor chemistry style as well. And honestly, if you made him a controlled player, it wouldn't be that big of an issue. It's just that when you see the difference between acceleration and sprint speed and you know the fact that his acceleration is so high, you want to make him an explosive player as much as possible, right? So... That's definitely going to be a pretty sick card to get. If he has really good base card stats for defense, you can maybe give him like a hunter in the future, actually, and just have him as your attacking oriented center mid. And he could he could do a pretty decent job um, at that kind of stuff. Sabitzer, I think I saw him as a I think it was a gameplay objective or SBC. It might be an SBC, actually. I think it was an SBC. Uh, this card people will like. If it was the Bayern Munich one, people wouldn't care. But if it's the Man United one, which is the obvious one, um, people will definitely care more. So this card's interesting because he could be decent with the improvements. Like there's a lot of potential there if Man United can get their wins or, you know, he can, you know, pull out some results with goals and assists. But he doesn't start that often. You know, it's uh, a lot of the times it's usually uh, different CDM. So it's it's going to be an interesting one. The The position changes is definitely nice. CDM, cam and center mid. Uh, but on a shadow chemistry style, Obviously, as a Man United player, some people are definitely going to want to pick this card up just to build that kind of team, right? So, um, Ricky Puj. So, Puj is going to be LA Galaxy, right? Yeah. So, if you're building some sort of MLS team or a past and present Barcelona team, you can totally add this card in the squad with the Spanish links. Probably going to be similar to, like, Gavi or um pedri in regards to stats we'll see right because with this card he's kind of generic right he's a medium medium player five foot seven dribbling stats is good so it just depends on how they end up improving him because he obviously has no new cards whatsoever so again it just depends on the direction that ea um head towards when it comes to the upgrades uh demarcos could be a really good right back that's actually a very solid pick because that is another card who doesn't have any promo either and he does provide you different types of links DeMarcos used to be a very, very meta link to give uh, to certain players. I forget what it was back in the day with the meta, but it might have been like, it definitely was some Liga Santander players if you're doing like a beginner squad. On a shadow chemistry style, this was one of, the, one of the best right backs in the game. He was absolutely fantastic to use. Um, and it could be no different with this card, right? Like a lot of the times when they make the right back cards, they usually put Jesus Navas and it's like, eh, you know, I think Jesus Navas still plays for uh, Sevilla. I could be wrong, but yeah, he does. So that's the one they usually give a promo to, and that's the example right there, right? Little, little rule breakers version of him, shadow chemistry style. Never seen this card used, to be honest with you, but it's still a usable card regardless, right? But 
probably lacks in defensive capabilities because of the lack of physical and whatnot. Um, Benteke, Benteke is an MLS player. It's funny because I actually only recently saw this because I saw the Toronto FC game and he now plays for DC United. I had no idea that that was the case. Uh, Rashica, Rashica plays, I think, in the Turkish League, right? Am I wrong? Yeah. Rashica plays in the Turkish League, Galatasaray. Okay, so for people who want to make uh, Turkish League teams, general community won't care, but some people will. Um, Chan, Chan could be a really good one. It, it, it depends if they actually give him like position changes, like center back and uh, center mid. Emre Chan. Kind of crazy how you search Chan, but then you can't actually find him. Let's see. Emre Chan. There we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, this card has potential, right? Because he's a medium high worker to play with a four star weak foot. So by default, you give this card a shadow chemistry style. Very strangely formatted pace. Very, 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 very strangely formatted. That's uh, very strange. But yeah, you can see that I'm talking about the position changes, right? Center mid, CDM, uh, center back positions. Again, yet another card that does not have a promo and should get a promo card. So that's definitely a W there as well. And then we also have the new hero cards, right? So Dinatale is going to be based off of Udinese. Dinatale is always a beast. This card is absolutely fantastic in many, many ways. Um, honestly, if people were to pack this card nowadays in certain SPCs, they would probably still be super happy to get him because he's just a very solid player to get, um, you know, on a Hunter chemistry style, still performs okay. Better in the beginning of the year than now because of the dribbling stats. But honestly, if you're making a Serie A team and you were to pack him randomly, it's not a bad card to use in the team, right? But Udinese links, um, base card stats for dribbling will definitely be higher. And you'll probably be able to give him an engine chemistry style if the base card stats for shooting is formatted a certain way. Just depends on what direction EA head towards with these cards. Uh, Dirk Kite, underrated card. I actually like him a lot. Uh, Dirk Kite as a center mid CDM if you're playing a 4-2-3-1, 4-4-2. He actually plays that role really well. And it's interesting because his defensive stats are not that high, but he actually does an okay job at defending. I did the review for this card at some point. I was trying him on the attack for the, for the heck of it, but obviously on a shadow chemistry style, that's the way they're going to mostly use this card. Uh, you do want the improvements for sure uh, in the future. Is he going to be based off of Liverpool? He's going to be based off of Feyenoord, eh? Okay. So he's going to be an Eredivisie player. I, well, I, I don't know if they do it that Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Eredivisie. It's not too bad, because Eredivisie, there's a few decent cards there. Papin, Papin was like a 50-50 card. Um, definitely a card that needed improvements as well. Uh, some people packed him. Some people ended up using him. I think when I did the review during that time period, it was with an engine chemistry style, and he actually scored a few goals for me, but... Nothing like too crazy special with him, right? He, like in some cases he felt generic, in some cases he could score, uh, but it wasn't like a crazy special card in any way, right? Because he's a very strangely formatted card because pace is lower if I give him an engine, which feels like the chemistry style that I have to give him because his dribbling being low. Some people gave him a hawk and, you know, obviously it's up to the person, but yeah, it was just really badly formatted during that time period. Um, Okacha, I, I, did I review the Okacha? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I reviewed the gold version and I was using him as a left striker or a right striker, something like that. Or a cam. Could have been a cam too. Uh, Okacha was actually nice. I enjoyed using him for what it was. Uh, the card on the Hunter chemistry style was still pretty decent because obviously shot power is higher. So you just have to work high percentage strikes as much as possible. But, you know, with a card that, that has, you know, the five star skills, the four star weak foot, you can't really go wrong with that. Improvements on this guy is definitely going to be a huge plus because I feel like some people are probably going to still give him either a Hunter or a Hawk, depending on how they actually end up improving the car. Because this is really strangely formatted for a future improvement. Because if they format it this way, I mean, people could probably give him like a, a Marksman in the future instead. And then base card stats for pace would just be higher. Then you would hope for the upgrade as well, with his team being based off of Fenerbahce. So Turkish League as well. Um, Al Oweron, or shall I say Al Oratan. Rayton? I don't know. Uh, this card is uh, is a built different. Yeah, this card's crazy. When we did his review, he was just so sick, man. Like I, when I was using him in the actual like cam position, uh, he was like his left foot's like just nasty. Like he hit really good strikes. Um, you know, even passes came off nicely. The, the the card is like really really nuts. It's definitely one of those cards that you know feels better in game than what you would think, right? It's just like a 
a very, very good card. 865k. Honestly, probably going to maintain that. Like, a lot of people still use this card in their foot champs team. It's usually him, Mbappe, and um, Jerzingo for the most part. Uh, with the way that this card is formatted, probably going to be a marksman as well in the future because of the way that base card stats for paces, it's really, really high already. Um, so with the future improvements that he could potentially get, it could be something based off of this, right? A lot of people give him the dead eye, which is not a wrong choice because of obviously the shooting boost as well as the passing boost, and they just work with dribbling as it is, right? But yeah, he's um, he was pretty solid. He was pretty solid to work with. Um what do we got here? We got Morientes, who was an SBC during that time period. It's funny because when they release these cards, like, you know that people didn't really do these SBCs that much. They did a little bit of it, I think. Hard to say, because I did see a lot of them, to be honest. I'm not going to say that I didn't. Nothing too crazy special. I've seen a lot of people that overhyped him a lot. I'm not going to lie. I did see that quite a bit. Um, I do really, really believe he was overhyped. Uh, but... You know, for a, for a person making like some sort of Liga Santander team with a striker and stuff, it was okay, right? Nothing too crazy special, in my opinion, right? It's a very strangely formatted card yet again, because you got to give him the engine chemistry style, makes him a controlled player. Dribbling is still lower on the certain occasions, and then the pace is on the lower side too. So it just depends on how you ended up lining up. People who like those types of cards are just our trigger merchants, to be honest. They just put shadows, or not shadows, they put hunters on these guys, and they just... They just run with them for the most part. Marquez uh, is going to be based off of the MLS, New York Red Bulls. Uh, Marquez, I never did his review, but I did try him out on someone's account one time. Um, and it was this gold version. And I want to be honest with you, he was actually okay. He was pretty decent to work with. He wasn't horrible whatsoever. You did have to work with the pace. So you probably had to use like a 4 2 3 one, 4 triple 2 something like that to really utilize the card. But... On a shadow chemistry style, he did have really good defensive animations, right? So um, I didn't really mind using him whatsoever. It was just the pace, right? The pace was definitely a little bit of a downfall from time to time. Park Ji Sung is very good. I like this card a lot, right? And it was the gold version too, who is currently 84k. So as a midfielder, you know, Park Ji Sung was one of those types of cards where if you had in the beginning of the year, it was really, really beneficial to have because he had the different position changes in right mid and left mid. So you can set up your team with the midfielders where you have like a bunch of attackers there, but then your side player you would just put into the middle position. It was very, very helpful to work with. Uh, significantly lower in price nowadays, but a really well-formatted card yet again, right? You'd probably give him like an anchor in the future, if anything, or not an engine. I think they're going to, I think they're going to format that a little bit differently. Um, so it's probably gonna be like an anchor chemistry style for him, you know, boost the pace, defense and physical, and then he's just going to pretty much be good at everything else, right? So if you were to use a card like this, um, as your attacking oriented center, de uh, center defensive mid, even as a center mid, as your attacking oriented card, it would be perfectly fine uh, to do as well. Gomez will be the SBC, which is probably going to be the SBC tomorrow on the Friday. For me personally, what's going to happen is I'm going to do the Serie A one because I don't think a lot of people are going to really care about the Bundesliga one, unless obviously they they're the ones that actually end up getting the improvements because it's a gamble at the end of the day. Like you either get um the Bundesliga or the Serie A and you get the improvements based off of team form and whatnot right so um you can see here it's going to be based off of Stuttgart or Fiorentina who I think they're in similar positions in the league I could be wrong for um their respective nations but yeah Mario Gomez is not really a meta player but um I respect people that use him because there's a lot of people that actually end up using this card just as one of their strikers like, I've seen a guy that had, like, 1,400 games with him, which I respect people like that a lot because they use him because they're a fan of him in real life, and they just use him for that reason, right? Probably give him, like, a Hawk chemistry style. Um, can you give him a finisher? You can't. Maestro? No. Architect? No. Backbone? Uh, ba basic. Oh, basic's not bad, actually. Basic is not bad because the sprint speed's at least at a, at a 90, so it's doable, during that time period, right? This is not a meta card by any means, right? At all. But it's a cool card to work with. Like, dude, if this was like Pauletta, like I'm doing this card. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gotta I gotta do my my fellow Asorian, you know? But uh yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of uh cards you can see here from some of the pictures that they ended up posting, right? Like Marquez, you know, today's upgrades from the UCL games, Goretzka 92, Mendes and Mor uh, Moro will no longer receive upgrades. How much did Nuno Mens drop? Let's see. Nuno Mens. Oop. Nuno Mens. He is 323k. 
Yeah, more of a card to pack. They did improve him to be in a good area, though. Like, fair play to that at least, you know, because you are going to give him an anchor. So it's not that, like, this card's actually okay to use. At the, like, still, it's the PSG links, right? Like, people really want that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the most part. You can see the road to, final, road to the final upgrades for some of the cards here. Obviously, Lucas Moore and Nuno Menja lost, so they won't get the upgrades. Um, and then there's a bunch of pictures here for some of the cards. Uh, for Fantasy's coming. Mitoma. Here's a listed. Oh, Mitoma's a new one. Lima. Who's Lima? Lima who? When I think of Lima, I think of the guy from Braga. Oh, that's the one. Is it this one? Well, I guess that's the one that's that was already released today. Marcos Bouge. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, Gomez? Oh, is it Angel Gomez? Angel Gomez? Or is it um, Andre? There's no chance they do Andre Gomez. Or is it Gomez? Could be uh, Liverpool Gomez, maybe. Let me see. what. If, does he have any cards? I'm an idiot. He has a Z. I'm so stupid. I should know that. And I'm like, I'm just dumb. No, I don't know what to tell you guys. Sometimes I'm just, my brain cell levels are just incredibly low. Sobosloy is getting a card too, eh? No one's going to care because he's a Bundesliga player. I don't really see Bundesliga teams, but... Sobosloy. I remember he he was like hyped when he first got there. But I think he got like a long-term injury because he's actually a really good player. IRL. Very, very good. Wimmer. And then Matoma. Matoma. This team looks cooler than the first team, to be fair. Nice. Nice new Japanese player. That's actually good. That's actually pretty decent. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Just checking out the new promo cards. Uh, there was pretty much, like I said, there was non-tent today. So there's not really much else to post. And there's no tactics that I could post because I haven't been playing FIFA regularly. So, y'all. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.